Welcome to Magic with Madison. My name is Madison and I'm your host. And today is day one of Vlogmas. Welcome to Magic with Madison. I'm Madison and I'm your host for this knitting and literature podcast, specifically fantasy literature. I'm a fantasy literature scholar based in the UK, though I am Canadian, which you can probably tell from my accent. But basically this podcast is chatting about some aspects of fantasy literature and some aspects of knitting. Let's get started. Now on day one, we're gonna chat a little bit about the yarns that I've opened up today. We're gonna open up those yarns so you get to see exactly what colors we're dealing with. We'll chat about my plans for these knitting projects and then I'll chat a little bit about today's book. All right, let's get started. So I've got quite a few advents I'm opening up today. The Skein and the Stitch, Fiber Fox, the Skein and the Stitch Stitch Marker, advent. While I also have a Lonely Knitter advent, I'm not going to be opening that one today because I could only open that one on December 3rd. And so we're going to have to wait two more days for that one to be open. Now, when it comes to other advents that I've purchased this year, um, I've purchased way too many. And one of the ones that I've purchased is through the Wardrobe Yarn Co., which I haven't talked about yet. And the reason for that is that I'm saving that one for February. So we might have a few more opening unboxing type things in February for that particular advent because it's Mean Girls themed, it's all shades of pink. I wanted to knit something pink during February, so it seemed like the perfect fit. So that one will not be featured in my vlogmas. Now, why don't we get started on opening some of these advent calendars? We have Fiber Fox. Now I love Georgie and Ben from the Fiber Fox. They are so kind. And if you check out their Instagram, they just got a puppy. So I just feel like that's a really good PSA because Mary is super, super cute alongside their two adorable dogs. So definitely check out their Instagram at the Fiber Fox. Now, part of their advent is this kind of moody, fairy tale like um, gorgeous, deep, vibrant colors.
Now, when we're opening up this particular package, what we see is that it starts with greens. This absolutely stunning kind of variegated shade of green. I absolutely love it. I just think it's so beautiful. Here it is. It's got some teal in there. It's got some browns. It's just absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get started on my Boxy by Hokey Lucky Telly that starts with this color. Now another thing we see here is these gorgeous stitch markers of a gingerbread house. It's called Enchanted Forest, which is kind of the theme of this advent by a brand called Mahlika, I think. Uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Let me know in the comments. And here we are just closing the box, getting this done uh, for day one of the Fiber Fox advent. So lovely to have that box closed and that bit done. My thought process is that there are a lot of different projects that I want to do this Christmas. I have lots of socks that I'll be wanting to knit with the Lonely Knitter because that's self-striping yarn, so I cannot wait to open those up. So I'll be working on those. I'm currently working on a sock test knit as well, so you know, have that going on until about mid-December. And then I also would like to finish a lace and fade boxy for a Christmas present. So my big plan is to finish my test knit, then also finish my lace and fade boxy that I'll be making with the skein and the stitch advent. And also I was hoping to be done by the end of November, but alas, I am not. I am really, really close to being done an Alp and Glow, which I am really loving, which I can talk to you guys about a little bit later if people would like to hear more about my other knitting stuff during advent. the box opens here what we first come to see if I managed to open the box correctly is this beautiful project bag now this seems to be kind of a tie-dye really really light green beautiful drawstring project bag I really love it I'm a big fan and I can't wait to keep this project in there uh, throughout advent season so i'm just gonna put that down and show you the bits and bobs that came with this advent calendar so first off is this beautiful wax sealed letter let me go ahead and rip that one open give me just a moment there it is open really happy with <laughs> my unwrapping job here. But what you see is this is the royalty tier, a very Georgian advent from the skein and the stitch. And that's just a little explanation from Jess who says, let's journey into Christmas past. So really beautiful 24 historically inspired shades to welcome in the festive season. So I'm super excited about that. And this advent also came with this gorgeous shawl pattern which gives you something to knit for every day with every color, which I really, really loved the idea of. I just really tend to wear garments more than shawls. So I'm thinking I probably won't do that. It also came with this beautiful Georgian rose candle. And here I am opening it. I wish you could give it a smell. It smells amazing. And I have it in my house at the moment. And I can't wait to burn it. Now, unfortunately, this is quite disorganized and we're going to go and find number one. It may take me a bit of time to find the right one, but here we go looking for it. And hopefully eventually I will find it. And there it is. All right, let's get to it. The other advent that I'm looking at is the Skin and the Stitch Georgian advent, and it starts with this absolutely stunning, kind of neutrally fadey, makes me think of like really, really refined straw or brocade fabric and kind of like, um, yeah, anyway, look for yourself. 
Um, I absolutely love the variegation here. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm definitely going to be using it for parts of the sleeves and the collar in my Hohilo Catelli. Um, I am loving that so far. So those are the two kind of big advents that I've opened up and I'm really excited to get knitting. Uh, and you know, it's going to be a really fun time of the year when it comes to advents. And I'm so excited to have you on this journey with me. So last, but certainly not least, is my stitch marker advent. It only consists of 12 days, so we're just going to do the first 12. I'm super excited. So here I'm at, I am opening up the first bit of this Skin in the Stitch stitch marker advent. And I'm trying to show it to you as best I can, but it basically is a pearl. It is so gorgeous with that gold fastening. I love rings, so that's what I got. Here I am quickly closing it up, but in case you didn't get to see, it's this beautiful pearl. Um, oh yes, I forgot to say what I'm wearing. I am wearing Sorella yarns. I make magic with yarn. Felt very appropriate on the Magic with Madison advent and the start of this advent season. So I love this jumper. It's from their Halloween box that I got, which was also some kind of advent, um, which I really, really loved and made a sweater number 12 uh, um, with using Cottonwood Breeze by Mungo Yarn Co. So I'll try and include a picture here somewhere um, of that jumper. Now, we also have to jump into fantasy literature. So in this podcast, I like to do both, and I'm hoping that I can do a little bit of both throughout all of Advent. Um, I've done a lot of fantasy literature. I'm a fantasy literature scholar. I've got a PhD in children's and young adult fantasy literature specifically, and so lots of chat about that. Today, I'm going to talk about the backgrounds behind the name of this channel and <laughs> how I came to the idea of Magic with Madison and how that's related to some really great works of fantasy literature and one of my favorite authors. So here in the UK, not a lot of people know Tamora Pierce. I think she's quite a bit more popular in the US, but if you don't know her, she's an incredible feminist fantasy author and one of my favorites. I adore her and I pretty much adore anything that she writes. So Tamora Pierce wrote a great series um, that features some knitting and spinning craft magic, specifically the first of a series called Sandry's Book is the name of the novel and The Circle Opens, I believe, is the name of the series. Um, I might be wrong on that, double check. <laughs> but it's this amazing start to a four part, not a four part series that novel is about a young woman who is of noble birth but is also a stitch witch. Um, she has powers through needle crafts, uh, not specifically just embroidery but any kind of needle crafts, be it weaving, sewing, stitching, anything along those lines, anything to do with thread. Um, and she's really, really quite a powerful um, magician in that world and that idea from Tamora Pierce, she said to have said uh, that it comes from having watched her mother and sisters knit and crochet and to her it really looked like magic and that's what gave her that idea. And so I love the idea of fantasy literature and knitting and sewing and spinning and all those amazing crafts being combined. And so that's where I get the idea of magic with Madison. A little bit like this sweater saying, you know, I make magic with yarn. Well, this is the Magic with Yarn channel and the Magic with Madison channel, and I am Madison. So I hope that's given you a little bit of insight. I really, really recommend Sandry's book by Tamara Pierce. I'll try and put a picture up um, of the cover and put a link down below. I'm gonna try and put links down below for all the things I talk about during this podcast. Um, I can tend to ramble and kind of go in a bunch of different directions. So if something's missed out, just leave a comment. I'll do everything I can to get back to you. But thank you so much for spending this time with me. Thanks for watching. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Hope you've had a great day. Happy day one of Vlogmas. And let's get started. <laughs>